acid chlorides will react with carboxylic acids to produce anhydrides. The mechanism is really similar to how water, alcohols, and ammonia attack acid chlorides. This carbon of the acid chloride is double bonded to an oxygen and single bonded to a chlorine. Those are both very electronegative atoms, so there's a slight positive charge on this carbon here. That is ripe for attack from the lone pair of the oxygen, in this case on a carboxylic acid. Now, when that lone pair attacks the carbonyl carbon, it's going to break the pi bond here and push those electrons onto the oxygen. That means this carbon chain of the acid chloride is still intact, but the oxygen itself is single bonded. It now has three lone pairs and a formal charge of minus one. The chlorine is still attached, and you are now attached via the oxygen of the carboxylic acid. So carefully copy out the bond from oxygen to carbon, the double bonded oxygen on that carbon, and the rest of the R group, however long or short that might be of the carboxylic acid. Now that oxygen still has its hydrogen on it. It'll disappear eventually. And now that means it has three bonds and a formal charge of positive one. So what happens next? Well, the same thing that happens for many acid chloride mechanisms. The double bond between the oxygen, the oxygen that has the formal charge of minus one reforms. It's basically the reverse of what happened here. But instead of this new bond breaking, it's the chloride that falls off. Cl minus is a great leaving group. So that leaves you with that same carbon chain from the left or well, the carbon chain of the acid chloride. You reformed your double bond to that oxygen, and now you have a single bond to this oxygen. Now it itself is connected to its own carbonyl carbon and R group, but now it still has its formal charge of plus one. It still has that extra proton or H on it. Now you have created chloride as a byproduct because it is the thing that fell off of this molecule or left. And it's also the thing that can help to deprotonate this in the final step. The bonding pair between oxygen and hydrogen now go to the oxygen itself and you end up with your finished hydride. Take a look, you've got that carbon, carbon bond, you've got your double bonded oxygen, that came from the acid chloride a single bond to oxygen, another single bond to another carbonyl group, which itself has a longer R chain on it. Now that's an anhydride. In addition, you get HCl as a byproduct, but more importantly, you have this anhydride compound. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. Acid chlorides and carboxylic acids make an anhydride. Here's the mechanism. Hopefully you understood it, and uh, best of luck.